in the previous lecture i have explained in detail how we people uh, go for matrix multiplication and i have talked about the various kinds of loops that will be required in order to go for matrix multiplication in algorithms and implementation so here i have written the algorithm uh, that you can understand very easily this is our first matrix this is our second matrix a matrix b matrix and resultant matrix will be c that i will be showing just now repeat for i is equal to 1 2 3 this is our outermost loop that will be used for traversing the rows of the first matrix repeat for j is equal to 1 2 3 it will be used for traversing the columns of the second matrix repeat for j1 is equal to 1 2 3 this is the loop that will be executed most frequently because it will be traversing the columns of the first matrix and rows of the second matrix okay so this is my dry test even though i have not com uh, written the complete dry test because uh, i will show you some part of it and rest of uh, can be done by you as an exercise this is i this is j this is j1 and this is sum so initially the loop will start uh, outermost loop value of i is 1 j is 1 j1 is 1 it will enter into the innermost loop the initial value of any variable uh, in an algorithm is considered to be 0 so 0 plus a 0 0 multiplied by b 0 0 what is a 0 0 uh, sorry a 1 1 the initial value of uh, sum is 0 and i j and j 1 is 1 1 because in algorithm i am uh, taking the starting subscript as 1 so this is a 1 1 multiplied by b 1 1 what is a 1 1 1 but is uh, b 1 1 2 so 0 plus 2 the new value of sum would be 2 okay so inner it will go to the innermost loop again its second uh, its second turn will take place now the value of j1 will be incremented by 1 and it will become 2 now it will enter into the loop block and uh, what is the current value of sum now it is 2 so it will become 2 plus a 1 2 a why a 1 2 because now value of j1 is not 1 it is 2 so a 1 2 this is a 1 2 multiplied by b 2 1 this is b 2 1 so 2 into 1 it will be 2 right so uh, what is the previous value of sum 2 so 2 plus 2 it will become 4 current value of sum now is 4 again it will go up and as per uh, the rule the value of j1 will be automatically incremented by 1 now it will become 3 what is the current value of sum 4 4 plus a12 multiplied by b21 this is a13 which is 3 this is b31 which is 3 so 3 into 3 will be 9 so current value of uh, this uh, sum is 4 4 plus 9 it will become 13 now the innermost loop will break why because it has been exhausted from 1 to 3 so we will end up getting uh, the value of sum as 13 and we will be assigning this value of sum 13 into c11 c is our resultant matrix as you can see this is our resultant matrix c and its first element c11 because i is 1 j is also 1 so that will be assigned to value of sum will be assigned to c11 this is our first element now because we are going to get the next element of a resultant matrix of course uh, we have to start from scratch so value of sum will be reinitialized to 0 now it will go to the middle loop and as per the rule the value of j which happens to be the counter variable of the middle loop will be incremented by 1 and value of j will become 2 and when it will enter into this innermost loop the value of j1 j1 will be reinitialized to 1 again right and as far as value of i is concerned that will remain intact that will remain stuck at uh, 1 uh, for the time being so now value of j is 2 that of j1 is again reinitialized to 1 okay what is the current value of sum it is 0 because we had reinitialized it so it is sum plus a 1 1 i is 1 j1 is also 1 into b 1 2 because value of j is right now 2 so what is a 1 1 it is 1 what is uh, your uh, b 2 1 it is uh, uh, b 1 2 sorry b 1 2 j1 is 1 j is 2 so this is b 1 2 so 1 into 1 it will become 1 of course now it will go up value of j1 will be incremented by 1 it will become 2 so what is the current value of sum 1 1 plus now it is your a 
1 2 because value of j1 is 2 a 1 2 multiplied by b 2 2 value of j1 is uh, 2 that of j is also 2 so now what will happen is uh, it will uh, give us the value 8 right 2 multiplied by 4 so previous value of sum was 1 so it will become 9 again it will go to the innermost 2 value of j1 will be incremented it will become 3 so value of current value of sum is 9 plus a 1 3 multiplied by b 3 2 j is 2 j1 is 3 right a 1 3 is 3 and b uh, b b 3 2 b 3 2 is this one 5 so it will be 15 3 multiplied by 5 15 so it will be added to the previous uh, value of sum which is 9 so it will become 24 so 24 will be assigned to sum now control will come uh, the innermost loop will break control will come to this place this value of sum that is 24 will be assigned to c1 2 because value of j is 2 so we will end up getting the second element of the resultant matrix it will go on like this i will encourage you to complete the dry test yourself and ultimately we will end up getting this whole resultant matrix.